We've had several phone calls into our newsroom the past couple of days questioning Paz Salvador's legal status here in the United States. Kristen Kennedy has been looking into that background. She continues our team coverage at the live desk tonight. Kristen, how could Paz Salvador's status affect this case? Well, Sam, his immigration status could greatly affect his case. We spoke with an attorney here in Lexington who used to work in the U.S. Attorney's Office. He's familiar with federal cases and familiar with immigration and customs enforcement. In a Sky County courtroom Tuesday, we learned U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, known as ICE, has placed a detainer on Odilon Paz Salvador. In a statement sent to WKYT, a spokesperson says the agency first encountered Paz Salvador in October 2012, following an arrest and conviction for drunk driving in Fayette County, saying he was turned over to ICE June 17, 2013, and placed into removal proceedings. He was released from ICE custody eight days later after posting bond. Mr. Paz Salvador's deportation proceedings are currently pending in federal immigration court. Attorney Mark Wolander says our immigration system is a complicated one. The potential now exists, he says, for the federal government to file charges against Paz Salvador. The federal government can come in and indict him federally. And, and charge him with the underlying aggravated felony that he's, that he's committed while he's here. And, and that's a very strong potential in a case like this. ICE leaders told us they became aware of Paz Salvador after his second DUI charge in Kentucky. Wolander questions why that wasn't enough to keep Paz Salvador in custody. Somebody felt that he was worth the risk, even though he had a driving under the influence one time and then driving under the influence a second time, then somebody up there saw that in a file, but still determined that he was worth the risk of putting back out on the streets. Sunday in Georgetown, police charged Paz Salvador with his third DUI. He's also charged with hitting and killing bicyclist Mark Hinkle. If you commit a crime and you're here illegally, you should be prosecuted and you should be deported. Paz Salvador's family told WKYT in court today that he is not a citizen, but that he is living here legally. He has lived and worked in Kentucky for the last 15 years and is married to an American. At the live desk, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Now, by issuing a detainer, ICE requests law enforcement notify them before releasing an individual. The spokesperson for the agency tells us they often wait for all criminal proceedings and convictions to be served before they take custody of individuals.